how to update your Minecraft server to the latest Minecraft version. Now, if you've just attempted to join your Minecraft server and see the following message, fail to connect to the server, incompatible client, please use, and then a server version above your current Minecraft server, then what you'll need to do is update your server's Java file. To do this, the first thing you need to do is actually stop our server. So what I'm quickly going to do here is left click on back to server list and then minimize the Minecraft client here. Once you've done that, open up the terminal window and then type the following stop and then hit enter and your server will begin to stop. Once your server has stopped, the terminal window will close. The next thing we need to do is download the latest version of the Minecraft server. To do this, open up your browser and then navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server. I'll also put this link in this video description below. Navigate to where it says download Minecraft server and then the latest version. At the time of recording of this video, the latest version of Minecraft is 1.16.14.jar. So to download the latest Minecraft server version, all you need to do is left click on the green hyperlink text here. It should then be highlighted in black and your download will begin. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, server.jar is downloading and I'll be back with you once the download has finished. Alright guys, once you've got the latest version of the Minecraft server downloaded, what you'll need to do next is to delete the previous Minecraft server version. So to do this, what you'll need to do is locate your Minecraft server. So mine is on my desktop here, so I'm just going to minimize my browser here, and then I'm going to double click on the Minecraft folder here, which contains my Minecraft server. I'm just going to maximize this window here. Once you've done that, find the server.jar file. As you can see, server.jar is right here for me, and I'm just going to right click on it here, and then left click on delete to delete. It. Next, what we'll need to do is move the latest version of Minecraft, the new server.jar file, into here. So what I'm going to quickly do here is open back up my browser and then left click on this arrow here on the bottom left hand corner next to server.jar and then left click on show in folder to find the server.jar files location for the latest version of the Minecraft server that we just downloaded. And then all we need to do is right click on the server.jar file here and left click cut. And then what I'm going to do here is quickly X out of this folder folder here and X out of our browser window as we do not need it anymore and then make sure you're back in the folder that contains all your Minecraft server files and then all you need to do is right click in this folder here and left click on paste to paste in the latest server version. And now all that's left to do is start your server once again. So I have my start server command in a batch file here and all I'm going to do is to double click on it. And now all that's left to do is to wait for our server to start. So I'll be back with you once our server is up and running. All right guys, as you can see our server is running again. So I'm just going to minimize the terminal window here and X out of this folder. Now what I'm going to do is open back up our Minecraft client here, left click on direct connect here and then put in your server address. Of course I'm running my server on my local PC here so all I need to do is type the number O here and then left click on join server and we should be taken directly into our server without any error message. And there we go guys you have successfully joined your server and have updated to the latest Minecraft server version. All right guys that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.